One of the many mysterious things about whitetails is the annual process of shedding and regrowing their antlers. In the spring and summer, when antlers are still covered in velvet, they grow quickly from the pedicle base. Pedicles are the initial stage in the development of antlers. Antler development in deer typically begins in late March or early April. At this point, two bony prongs covered in velvet skin protrude from the deer's pedicles. The antler stubs receive the blood and oxygen they need from the velvet that surrounds them. May, in the heart of spring, is when bucks have access to more wholesome dietary options. Whitetails, at this time of year, are particularly fond of protein and nutrient-dense grass. Now that the white-tailed deer's body has had the time to heal from the winter, it can devote its full energy to developing impressive antlers. Deer often develop a second antler point by the end of May. It's also important to have antler beams that are roughly half as long as they'll be when fully grown. Deer will be able to continue their maturation and development in the summer because of the abundance of luscious, nutritious food that has been made possible by the wetter winter. During the month of June, when there is an increased amount of daylight, Hormones are released in deer that cause them to grow antlers more quickly. By the end of June, the major points on a deer's antler racks will have fully developed. The buck's antlers should be somewhat bulbous at the beginning of this midsummer month. As the month progresses, the antler's beams and points will develop. By mid-July, the buck should have developed huge, fully grown antlers. More nutritious food will be available to deer if there is sufficient rainfall in the spring and summer. A drought and a lack of nutritional nutrients could hinder a deer's antler growth. The antlers of most mature bucks are complete by the end of July and are ready to start hardening. In late summer, when mineralization of the antler is complete, the pace of growth drops drastically. The velvet dies around the autumn equinox because of a lack of blood flow, and the antlers need another 25 days to stiffen. The rut, or mating season, for bucks begins in the autumn. They break away from their tribes and go out on their own when their testosterone levels rise. Their antlers have hardened and they are now ready to compete for females. Beginning in early November and continuing through the month of November, mating season is in full swing. The majority of hunters report seeing deer, often bucks, roaming freely on their land in the autumn. In preparation for the coming of winter, deer will lose their antlers. Because the process of removing the velvet can take up to 24 hours, bucks will typically thrash their antlers against nearby bushes and small trees to hasten the process. The deer will begin conserving energy now so that it can keep warm during the winter and so that it can begin growing its antlers back in the spring. During these months, they will stock up on supplies in anticipation of the coming spring.